we live on a flat earth. We do not live on a globe spinning one in space. That is the biggest lies of lies. And this is Satan's last years and he's deceiving the nations. I'm the devil. And I'm here to say I'm the most evil rapper in the USA. All my homies and my bitches say hi. <laughs> And you're in the nation of the seas, but I'm trying to get out the nation of the seas. I'm in America, so it's gonna be a little, it's gonna be a little tough, you know what I'm saying? Are you sure his brain is okay? Absolutely, watch this. Charlie, identify these objects, okay? Ba. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Be. Ba. Be ba. He's fine. Great job, Charlie. Aw, oh, thank you. We should not be having a debate because the globe is the truth, apparently, right? It's proven. We're in space and we proved it, right? So if that is the truth, why when we see boats going over the horizon, it looks like it's going down? Why not the planes? Will you stop? It's just a piece of fruit. Eating a piece of fruit is not gonna change your life. Yeah, but what if it's magic fruit? What if this fruit makes me the smartest man the village has ever known? That's a pretty low bar. So you tell me your reason and explanation for this one, Globers, because you won't. Because this is not even a debate. I definitely feel something. What? Less hungry for one, but also more intelligenter. You just make it look like the globe is the truth. Everything is CGI, everything is fake and lies. Or really the flat earth is the real debate. It's not even a debate, it's just truth. Ask me something, anything. Go, test me, go. All right, where does the sun go at night? Pass, next question. We live on the Earth, right? It's pretty funny when I think about this. That's spinning with water on in space. I'm about to disprove it right now, but if you think that we live on it, then you're about to get disproven until you pull me right. Yeah. That's not gonna happen. Because these stars match exactly with the Great Pyramids of Egypt. Each one of them match exactly with it, right? What you need? Why? I have Ativan. You want that? Oh yeah. Little Valium. Oh yeah. You like a Clonopin? I want someone to take me sky high. How? How does that make sense if we're spinning around through space? Spinning? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You just shouldn't be seeing the same stars either way. And even Polaris. Polaris, the big star. Hopefully you know what Polaris is. Huh? We have these to hold down the sound, sir. Oh, good. Thanks. Bro, wake up. Wake up. No, no ball. Yes, flat. She's experiencing denial. <laughs> What's that mean, Dr. Crane? Well, simply put, it means that the human mind blocks out that which it cannot emotionally accept. What's that mean, Dr. Crane? <laughs> It means that you don't understand this, and you never will. The sun and the moon, they're the exact same size. You might be thinking, what are you talking about? Science tells us that the sun is way bigger, and it's 400 times bigger than the moon. But the thing is, I don't believe in this. So I don't believe in science. I don't believe in NASA, which means you're deceiving you. But I don't believe in none of that stuff. I believe in the truth. OK, one last time. These are small, but the ones out there are far away. <laughs> they are both equal. That's why you see the moon is equal. But sometimes the moon looks higher. It's so wonderfully, wonderfully, oh wonderfully, wonderfully pretty. It looks smaller because it's higher. It's higher in the sky. That's why it looks a little different. But no, really. Example, solar clips, how do you think it's the same size? Same size. Small, far away. <laughs> I forget it.